John Newland shares a story from his book, Ordinary, An Ordinary Man's Experience with God. You might have heard many years ago about a story about Gilligan's Island. They left on a boat ride that was supposed to be for three hours, but it turned out being a lot more. Well, John talks about a time when he and two of his friends went out on a boat into rough seas when they should have stayed at the shore. With an adrenaline junkie behind the wheel and another man pale with fear, it was unknown if they'd even survived this trip. Find out how John was tossed in the sea and what happened next. Check it out. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. I can't wait to hear this story. Now, this story is when you call it lost, lost in 12-foot seas, but it's so okay. exciting in a story. I mean, it's, it's powerful. Tell us about it. Okay, that. well, I'm a little bit embarrassed in this one. Are you? Because I was uh, foolish in this book. You're not supposed okay. to be foolish. We're supposed to be uh, wise, a measure cautious, okay? Just back when you were a teenager then. No, uh, I was a man. <laughs> right. I was working for a doctor where okay. the Lord sent me. Right. And because I loved a boat and I love boats, we got a boat. And then we got another boat and right. we went fishing and I taught him how to catch fish. We caught a lot of fish, billfish, but we got a boat called a Grady White. It was a 25 foot boat with twin 185s and we did us some billfishing. Mm -hmm. But wow. my boss, Herschel, and I don't mean to diss him in this, Mm -hmm. He could be a little foolish. Mm -hmm. Personally, I believe any man that jumps a motorcycle through the air is a little foolish, okay? Well, that's my son-in-law. I'm to race trying to tell you. Okay, okay. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. He don't do it anymore. He has metal in his arm yeah, right now. Yeah, there you go. Right. <laughs> You're going to break a bone probably, right. okay? Right. I don't mind He's taking a good risk, yeah. okay? I don't mm -hmm. mind riding fast horses. Right. I don't mind running into a fair. I'll do anything, this is kind of bragging, to save somebody. Mm -hmm. I'll do it, okay? Right. I'll jump out of a plane without a parachute if the other guy doesn't have one. Wow. So okay. I'm, I'm a risk taker, okay? Right. That's why I get some adventures, I think. Mm -hmm. So this was an adventure that was a little foolish, okay? Okay. We rode to the pass, and Herschel, sometimes, he had the kingdom of self thing going, okay? He right. wanted something bad. He wanted to go in that boat. Right. And he loved to race fast cars. He loved to jump motorcycles off of high jumps, okay? Wow. And so we he looked out there. He was on adrenaline, huh? Yeah, it's adrenaline. He was an adrenaline junkie. Okay. So we rode out to the pass, and I knew there was a uh, small craft warning, warning. High seas. I just right. didn't know how high. Right. We rode into the pass, and the seas were like about six or eight foot. Wow. And that's, that's great in that boat. I rode all day in that. And Grady White will ride seas well. Wow. But we looked out there, and I saw they were really big mm -hmm. on the outside of the pass. And Herschel says, John... Couldn't we just try it? Couldn't we go ride one of those waves right. and turn around and, you know, right. you know, couldn't we try it? Right. So back in those days, I had a saying, and mm -hmm. I'm not saying to have this saying. It was my saying, though. Mm -hmm. Here it was. It's a good day to die. I got it off an Indian on a TV show, right. a movie, okay? And I thought, hey, I like that one, you know? Right. It's a good day to die. What's well, the point of once to die? We have to be ready at any moment. Yes. You never know the that time part, or the hour. That part's good, okay? okay? But we we need to let it be in his timing, okay? Oh yes. We need to be you wise. Speed the we day. need to be yeah. wise, right, okay? Right. So now I got the saying I've changed it. It's right. a good day to die to self. Yeah, let's my, replace that. Well, yeah, yeah my yeah. wife, uh -huh. she, it's a good day to die to self. Uh -huh. She'd hear me say it's a good day today, and she'd say, "Don't say that." Yeah, right. In fact, I took out some famous pastors. I don't even say their name. Right. And I took them out in six to eight foot seas, and <laughs> we looked at those seas, and I said, "It's a good day to die." And this guy said, "Don't, don't say that." I said, "Where's your faith, pastor?" <laughs> I said, everybody says they want to, you know, yeah. die today. I mean, right. you get to meet Jesus today, you know. Right. They said, don't say that. I don't care. Right. So I've changed it. I don't say it's a good day to die. I say it's a good day to die to self. Any day is a good day to die to self. Take right. up our cross. You die to self. And it's you much live, easier to die. You live to die unto to him. Yeah. But this yeah. day I was foolish. I said, Herschel, it's a good day to die. You really want to do this? <laughs> the problem is we had another doctor with us, uh -huh. okay? And that doctor was not a seaman, right. and we should have never put this on him, okay? Right. He was back here praying like a maniac. He was I bet a Christian. he was. Okay, so I won't say his name. So here we start going out. We're going to spell it out. Let me tell you, you yeah. want to say, John, really? Are you exaggerating? 
Let me tell you. John, really, are you exaggerating? Yeah, I'll, but I'm a surfer, okay. so okay. I know waves, right, okay? Right. You judge a wave when you're surfing by the, the low part to the high part. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was in the Navy. I know exactly. God is my witness. Yeah. Yeah. These waves, when we finally got out there, were 12 feet. Wow. They were surfing waves crashing on top. Wow. We'd, we'd have to quarter one, and when we go up, I thought the boat was going to flip over backwards, and then when we came down, we had a five count before we hit the bottom. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,000... Bam! Slap. We hit the bottom so hard. And I thought, we are going to die. I thought, we are going to die. Did y'all not fall to the floor in the boat? Oh, we hit? crashed. Okay. Oh, yeah. I got them in life preservers, but I didn't put one on. I didn't at that time. Right. That was foolish. I don't know how I didn't do that. Right. So we're going a little further. And I said, Herschel, we thought when we got outside of the pass, they'd turn to eight footers because when the tide is going out, Right. And the wind is blowing hard in. It bucks the waves up. Okay. And that's what stood these waves up. Okay. So we thought if we got outside to pass, it would calm down enough and maybe we could make it for mm. a little bit of something. Okay. Right. But I saw it wasn't going to change quick enough. Right. Now we're about three miles out, right out there. And I said, Herschel, these waves are heading to the pass. I think I want to live. Let's turn, and what I'm going to do right. is I'm going to get behind one of these giant waves, and we'll ride in the trough. Right. And right behind us is this rolling wave. Uh -oh. I mean, it's like it's coming in the back. Right. The poor doctor in the back was whiter <laughs> than a sheet, okay? <laughs> right. and, and so right. we're riding, riding like this. And uh -huh. so Herschel says, John, do you think we could throw out a line? In an emergency, you don't fish. Right. Oh, he wanted to fish? He wanted to fish. Oh, my gosh. So said, oh, my goodness. I said, I said Herschel, that's, that's crazy. He goes, yeah, but if we could just troll, maybe we'd pick up a bonita or something like that. <laughs> I said, the poles are down below, okay? I said, great. What right. I'll do, go down. I'll get a pole, and I'll right. get my life preserver. Y'all are freaking this doctor yeah, out and the I'll boat. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's totally white. So we uh, come back up. Yeah. And so before I can put on the life preserver, Herschel goes up over the wave, mm -hmm. and he surfs like a surfboard down the next wave, and he guns it. Now we're going about 20 knots, going right. down a wave, and oh. I said, Herschel, no, oh. I've got to have the wheel. You're going you're gonna to flip us. We do one more, right. and when he goes down the wave, he goes, wee! <laughs> That's an adrenaline junkie, okay? And so I'm wanting to smack him <laughs> to take over the wheel, but right. instead, our bow... Uh -huh goes under the front wave, oh. the back kicks straight up in the air, and I'm catapulted out of the boat, okay? Oh, no. Now, <laughs> Herschel, because he's an intelligent man, he had a photographic memory, he was president of his class at Duke University. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. He's a smart man. Graduated top, magna cum laude. Yeah, magna cum laude, yeah. At... Mm -hmm. uh, life chiropractic. He switched from being okay. a lawyer in school at the right. top mm -hmm. to, because his dad on his deathbed said, said please come be a chiropractor. Oh, wow. okay. So Herschel is a great man, mm -hmm. albeit maybe a foolish man. Right. And so now he's doing something foolish. I'm out, but right. Herschel has a presence of mind. He hollers to the other doctor, don't take your eye off of him. Right. Because you can lose a man in five foot seas, yeah. real easily lose a man in 12 well, foot seas. Yeah. So Herschel did a maneuver that was unbelievable. Yeah. He, in spite of sinking the boat, he whirled the boat on one of the waves. He spun it wow. on a wave, and now he's almost crashing over backwards, but now he's coming at me with two engines running. Whoa. Okay, but I want to tell you he's what happened. He's going to cut you up. Okay, but before that happened, uh -huh. when okay. I went out, catapulted, uh -huh. it was cold, Yeah. but shock kicked in. Right. I'm in jeans and a sweater and, and tennis shoes. Wow. Now, Did the sweater keep you warm? No. <laughs> now I'm in the water. But let me tell you what right, happened. Right. This is an ordinary man's experience with God. Okay. Guess what I did? What you do? I called to God. Oh. I didn't call to fear. I called to God. Right. But in this case, I, did a, I didn't inquire. I made a statement speaking to the elements, trying to say something about God right. that would encourage me. Right. So here's what I said. So, God, this is your bathtub. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I said. Speaking to the elements so I wouldn't be afraid. Wow. And guess what? Here's the miracle part of it. Okay. I had no fear. Wow. No fear. Wow. I had a little adrenaline, but
but no fear, none, okay? Huh. So now Herschel spins this boat. It's oh. coming rapidly back at me. Oh, no. I'm in wet clothes with tennis shoes. I can't duck dive. As a surfer, I know how to duck dive. What's duck dive? Duck dive is you go under the wave. So okay? the motor doesn't hit you. Yeah, no, or so the, the wave goes over you where oh, okay. the motor doesn't hit you. So okay. I'm thinking i got to duck dive. In the meantime, this other doctor, he doesn't know diddly squat about boating, okay? Right. He's got a 15-foot line for tying up, right. and he's thinking he's gonna throw it to me. Well, I'm 30 yards, okay? Right. 15 feet doesn't mean anything. All right. But it was such a blessing because it got caught in the port motor. That's the motor on the right. left. Right. And when I saw that, I said, thank you, Jesus, because I knew I could go to that motor. It stopped I the motor? Mean, yeah, stopped the motor, okay? okay? It bound up the motor. I'm, oh, I said, thank you, Jesus. I swam as fast as I could. Climbed up the back of that motor, right, right. went up over there, and I said, Herschel, in a very stern, <laughs> bold voice, and I grabbed him. I said, get out of the way. <laughs> right. Okay, I took over right. being captain, okay, right. even though he was the boss. Yeah, okay. right, right. I turned it, and we went into the wave. We followed it right into there. We got in there, got into port. We got home. I'm sitting in my, my chair after a shower. Right. And my, my precious <laughs> wife's making me chicken noodle soup, warmed up. Right. I stood up, and my legs collapsed under me. Wow. And I said, Lord, what is this? I think it was shock factor. The yeah. adrenaline had gone. Wow. So why do I tell that story? Yeah. Well, it's just an ordinary man's story, and I had an experience with God in it. Right. You can trust God in the storms of life. Yeah, in I mean, the storm. I mean, you were basically sleeping when you just relaxed and spoke a word of faith that calmed you. It makes me think about Jesus in the storm when the disciples are all worried, and he was just sleeping in the storm. Right. It's difficult to sleep in storms to calm yourself right. when things aren't going right, especially when Herschel's driving a boat. Right. That's wild. Right. Oh my good, ordinary man. I don't think so. Oh my goodness. And I've been in, in the we saw ships, huge ships being tossed by swells. And right. I went with a, a man you would know, but I can't. Britain now. Jim yeah. Britton now and okay. his boat, little yes. twelve foot yeah, boat. Yeah, yeah. You know, we we're gonna go to the. Uh, sell the boat all the way from where he was to out to the Gulf and we we're going to get some pizza or whatever. And uh, we got too close to the waves coming in. So this calm, instant moment of sailing ended up this whole boat <laughs> was doing this, right? And we had to jump off the boat and it looks like it was going to go down. And the waves were relentless. That's the thing about waves. They're right. just relentless, yeah. right? And I'm saying, just let it go. And Jim's like, no, keep it. And I'm like, let it go. He's like, keep it. He's like, we can get another one. Like, let it go. So we fought it, pulled it back. And uh, the, the boat made it. We made it. And I lost my 20 bucks I had in my pocket for the pizza. And they had right. to buy my pizza. They said, you just, you're making that up. I said, no, I had 20 <laughs> bucks in my pocket. But I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that, that, that waves can be relentless. I've seen them take huge ships. Right. In the Navy and they just no toss mercy. them up in the air. I mean, it's right. amazing what takes place. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go anywhere. Subscribe. Listen, together we can touch the world. That's right. Subscribe below, right? Wait, 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 wait. Don't go away. Subscribe. We're going to touch the world. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. Hey, be sure to check us out at vfnkb.com and also join the VFNKB community at vfnkbcommunity.com. Listen, your success is our success. Our success is your success. And our success together is kingdom success.